Well, uh, my different responsibilities. We are especially focused into harmonized method validation and analytical procedure for multi-residue methods along Europe, especially focused in official controls. We can say at the moment that in Europe, the EU monitoring programs and the quality of the laboratories is uh, really good. Probably we are a reference worldwide. And uh, there is a, the idea is to improve the performance of the laboratories, especially in two directions. One direction is the harmonization of the results. And the second one is to try to cover more pesticides and more commodities. As a consequence, because nowadays the food, the trade food is worldwide, is very extensive. And it means that the exigencies to the laboratories are very high. And every year, probably, they have to cover more and more samples, more commodities and more pesticides. The reference technology right now for all laboratories are LC and GC triple quad working in MSMS. But it is clear that there is a new trend only as to use complementarily and also to use as support and to improve the, the methods using high resolution MS with mass accuracy. It is a clear trend and from year to year, year, to year we can see that the laboratory has implemented these new technologies in the control labs. In general, all the labs in Europe follow the ISO 70025, and this is a very strict regulation for to get accreditation, and for sure that the new instruments that provided by the companies with the high resolution mass spectrometry capabilities can fulfill all these requirements. So it is the reason why the official laboratories are implementing these technologies. I think that this type of uh, workshops and uh, the harmonization is based in, in something that is not especially covered by the technology, it's with the training personnel. So personnel represent more than 50% of the total performance of the lab. So trainings, workshops, etc., are very helpful to improve the, 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 the skills of the personnel in the laboratory and is the only way to increase the good performance of them.